I'm Darcy James Argue, and I'm here at the Jazz Gallery, one of my favorite places to play and to hear music in New York. And it's also a nonprofit, which is really nice. They do really great work commissioning music, and they've got sort of a really inventive programming that is unlike any other place in town, so I think it's a real treasure. I'm bringing my 18-piece big band called Secret Society. What I'm trying to do with, with this band is to take a very old-fashioned kind of musical configuration, the jazz big band. And I kind of like to imagine what would have happened to American music if they had stayed popular and stayed evolving, and what would uh, a jazz big band sound like in 2012 that incorporated uh, all of those influences from outside of jazz, from classical minimalism and from rock and, and you know, hip hop and uh, funk and all of that stuff and, and brought those influences into the big band world. The classic concert film Jazz on a Summer's Day, uh, as the opening credits play, the music you hear is by Jimmy Jufri's group uh, with Jim Hall on guitar and my um, mentor really, Bob Brookmeyer on, on valve trombone and Bob recently passed of course so he's uh, very much on my mind. Yes, but I think the first time a lot of people became aware of Bob was seeing that movie Jazz in a Summer's Day and seeing this very unusual group of saxophone, uh, guitar and valve trombone opening the movie. It's a really fantastic moment in the film and a fantastic musical moment. I've been really excited to see the kind of programming that George has been bringing to Newport over the past few years. Um, he's someone who I think has really reconnected with what's going on in jazz. Group. And so there's just this fantastic range of really brilliant musicians given a showcase and a place to play. And what I loved about being there is, you know, there was a real communal vibe, but I think a lot of the players made a point of hanging out um, and just enjoying the day and checking out a lot of music, and that's not something that happens a lot. So I think it's a testament to the, the, the vibe and the strength of the programming. All of us who write uh, big band music today and try and make it sound like a little bit different from how big bands are expected to sound. We're all very much indebted to Maria Schneider and her first record, Evanescence, when it first came out, it really was incredibly exciting to be a young musician and to hear that music and just to know that there were so many other sort of fresh and contemporary possibilities available to uh, big band composers that, that no one had really been thinking of. Todd Sikafus. Uh, people might know him from uh, playing in Ani DeFranco's band for years and years, but he's actually a, a fantastic jazz bass player and a, an absolutely brilliant composer. And I, I love the way he writes and I love the way he conceptualizes uh, his music. And there's always kind of a real clear sense of, of narrative and a real cl clear sense of drama in his music. And uh, I'm really looking forward to hearing what he uh, comes up with next. I'm Darcy James Argue. My band is Secret Society, and we're looking forward to seeing you at Newport in 2012.